Hello, welcome back to a new video. If anyone was wondering what level of procrastination I am at today, this is it. This is an extreme level for me, but I am just obsessed with rollers on the hair at the moment. Just give your hair a little with the straighteners, whack rollers in. You might be wondering why I've made myself look like this, and that is because today I am feeling sad, I can't lie. Feeling a bit down in the dumps, and you know, oh, that's so sad, look at that. Oh. So satisfying. Do you know what makes me really happy is specifically, specifically trying on trying on wedding related dresses. Oh my god, this looks so good. Any form of wedding planning? No. Trying on dresses for said wedding. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna move this down. We don't need to accommodate my uh, giant rollers anymore. So I did a little ASOS order, which has now fully arrived, and I thought I would just crack everything out and try it on with you. This is specifically dresses for my engagement party, which said engagement party has not been organized yet. It's actually my treat to myself once the rest of the wedding prep is done, which is on my list for this evening. Have a call with my wedding planner and I need to do everything because I will be damned if I'm showing up to another meeting having done absolutely nothing. I should be wrapped with the details fairly soon, she says. Let's hope and pray, people. But anyway, we're gonna have an engagement party once we've kind of like wrapped up our wedding planning, hopefully in the summer, just something super chill. But I wanted a nice dress for that. Classic Suze, I will get a new dress to celebrate breathing a new breath, you know? So these are engagement party dresses that we're specifically focusing on today, but I also might put a few to the side for just other wedding related situations. I need night before the wedding, day after the wedding, honeymoon outfits i need the full shebang so we have our work cut out for us here okay so we're getting started with the asos order i also have a couple of bits from other brands as well that are potential contenders and you can just let me know what you think i have also done a house of cb order which i'm waiting on so we could have a part two to this so if you hate all of these just let me know i can send them back and we, we can hope and pray that the house of cbs are the vibe this is the first dress i've picked up i'm not gonna lie i don't love the quality it doesn't feel amazing i got this in a size 34. it is like a silk low v dress with like this button down detailing it actually has like polka dots on it it's you can really tell from the material that it's not like this is not a nice kind of satin but i'm gonna try it on anyway i personally am not sure that this color the shade of white this sounds really weird i'm not sure the shade of white is for me nevertheless we will try on oh my god i forgot about this this is actually this is not for my engagement party however i thought this would be so cute potentially as like a holiday maybe honeymoon situ we've got a lot of things to have things for but i loved this and personally i can see myself re-wearing this every year so it's not just for the wedding but i just love it i really like the shade the creamy shade of it that looks really cute i'll show you that anyway even though that's not what that's not for this oh my god i love i love anything with a little rose on this i think is a really nice sparkly shade on me it's like a champagne -y, a nude color underneath but then it's got these silvery sequins over the top this i think is hopefully going to be quite flattering i'm not sure on the length though fingers crossed it also comes with sleeves which i think is kind of cool you don't have to wear the sleeves. I think that could do me for engagement party, but also potentially just lots of other situs. I also would re-wear that as well. I mean, I feel like that about most bridal options that aren't pearly. Pearl pearls is something that I associate quite heavily with a wedding outfit. But white dresses, like, you'll keep those. They're timeless. So this is how I'm justifying every white dress purchase that I shall make this year. Wow, speaking of. Oh my god. Wow, this is giving my 30th birthday dress, but it's structured. Like, is that, is that boning? Wow, there's like boning on the sides. Oh yeah, boning on the front. And then there's a little internal waistband. Wow, oh my God. By the way, if you're a fellow bride, I hope this video is helpful. And if you are a fellow bride, I think everyone should order this because this feels amazing. It's so heavy like the layers the layer oh my god this is stunning this is probably one of the nicest things i have brought from asos in a long time oh it's from and other stories makes sense wow can't wait to try that one oh my god that's unreal i actually found my pearly 30th birthday dress i'll pop a photo on screen i found that the other day 
and I'm not sure, I'm not sure it's gonna be as cute as that one, so I might have to be making an upgrade. Oh, what is this? This took quite a while to arrive, so I've actually forgotten what everything is. What is happening here? What is the structure of this? Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, so this is from Forever New. It's got like a bow on one sleeve and then it's like asymmetric. And then this other sleeve has a sleeve and a bow. It's a cute mini dress. I can't wait to try that on. I think it's so simple, but so dramatic at the same time, which pretty much sums up my bridal style. Bridal style? I don't even know if I have a bridal style yet, but the things that I gravitate towards seem to be like minimal, but not minimal at all at the same time. This. I think was me having a moment where I was like, but what if I don't want to be a minimal girly? <laughs> wow. So we have a full mesh shimmery dress situ for the party girls out there. This actually would be amazing for my hen. This would be amazing for my hen. Can't wait to try that on, that's gorgeous. Oh, we have earrings. <gasps> I love these earrings. I was so excited to find like an inexpensive pair of these because I've seen quite a few versions of this knocking around and some of them are quite expensive but I thought these would be amazing earrings that I could potentially wear quite a lot I think they'd look amazing with a simple white dress so cool wow there is a pair that I've seen on Revolve that it's not just one single flower it's like one big one and then a couple of smaller ones and I really like those but they're more expensive so I don't know what do we think Oh, they are so cool. I'm obsessed. Just with a really simple rest of my outfit. Like it could be a completely plain white dress. I think these would be amazing. She says, having pulled out nothing so far that is simple in any way. But I do plan on adopting that kind of look at some point. Oh, there's also a little band, I think. I think this comes with the top of the bow. Gorgeous. Okay, next. And here we have the aforementioned something simple. I mean, it does have lace, so not super simple but this is basically like the first dress but gorgeous quality i'm really excited to try this on i think it's going to be super long on me i am fully prepared that if i love it i'm going to have to have it tailored i'm going to finally need to find a new seamstress anyone knows of a good brighton seamstress please let me know yeah this is so gorgeous so again with the deep v long sleeves button down front doesn't cup under the boob like a lot of these designs which i really like so i'm holding out hope for this one i ordered something that was like actual bridal wear off of asos to test it out for the girlies this was very unnecessary did i need to be doing this no is it just an engagement party dress and not an actual wedding dress yes but i was intrigued and i have always pre getting engaged like for years and years always wondered about the asos bride situ so i am excited to get stuck into this right let me know if you are also very intrigued by this range because i can order more i just didn't want to go nuts okay so i've opened it up <laughs> this box is ginormous so we get a dust bag asos dust bag there's also a hanger a wooden hanger wow i'd love it if asos had a premium line and they could just actually like make insane quality clothes and send them out like this that would make me very happy oh, oh my gosh <laughs> there's so much material okay so we have this gorgeous long sleeve v-neck wrap top kind of situ i'm tbc on whether i like this already because i have to say i do struggle with a wrap top but I'm always willing to revisit things. So we'll see. I'm hoping that it just falls really beautifully. The material feels really nice. We then have this long, really long, like floaty skirt, but it's got a slit somewhere around here, which I think is really nice. And it kind of makes it super simple, but really dramatic at the same time. Like when you see all of the material, you'll understand. Of course. Hmm. It also has a low back with a bow situ as well. On first impressions, I I'm impressed. I like the delivery. It's not horrendously creased. The material feels nice. But let's see what it looks like on, shall we? However, in the interest of my bank balance, I do have a few things that I already own. Some of which, as you can see, I have not worn yet, that I could wear instead and send all of the Ace Hospitals back. But I, I don't know. I wanted to try out some really like gorgeous, very specifically bridally things. But anyway, my point being, I have some other dresses that I think would be really lovely for an engagement party. If you're not having an engagement party, you could also have these for like rehearsal dinners, things like that. This I love so much. It's from House of CB, as you can probably tell by the 
the big pink label. It's got a slightly flared elongated sleeve, high neck but not a roll neck and it's a mini length but it's I would say generous on the length. I think it also is available in a taller length as well. Petition for them to bring out petites again because I do have to have a lot of their minis taken up still. It's got a gorgeous pocket detail which is like actual pockets which I love and I really like that the silhouette is very fitted. It doesn't come out a lot so just very sleek and simple and I really like that. So this is definitely an option but I could also wear it the night before my UK wedding so TBC also I think we're gonna have our engagement party in the summer so the long sleeve might be slightly too warm however I think it's a stunning option and if you have an engagement party or a wedding situ coming up sooner I would definitely have a look at this I also think the cream if you have slightly more of a darker or olivey or yellowy toned skin like if you're very fair and more pink toned that's when I would maybe steer clear of this. I think I'm right in saying that but who knows I have an olive skin tone and this looks fantastic on me is what I'm trying to say so the fellow olive skin girlies stunning okay. So another dress that I have worn before I actually wore this after I got engaged but it was so expensive that I will wear it again over and over and over at any occasion because <laughs> it needs to be worn. It is this incredibly sheer by the way I don't know if you can yeah you can see we have to wear pasties when we wear this. It's an incredibly sheer dress from Magda Butram. You can have this lined, like you can go to like a tailor and get it lined, I just haven't. My friend Amelia has this, I actually tried on hers, which was lined and I just felt like it looked better on my body not lined. However, if you're a bride and you want to be a bit more minimalist or cons res reserved, words today. It would be a great idea to have this lined and maybe I should do that, I don't know. But yeah, I love it. It's a tie around the neck kind of situation. It's got this giant rose, like the Magda Butram structure of their roses are so unreal. Like I just love them. They're, they're like wired, they're really beautiful. And all of the roses on this are like a, a velvet and it's just so soft and so lovely, so stunning. I adore this and it would make a good option for a summer engagement party. So maybe I'll wear this again, but maybe again, maybe this is rehearsal dinner, maybe this is honeymoon vibes. Again, like I, I could wear this on my honeymoon a lot, both of them. I'll show you that on, I don't know if they still make this, but I definitely think it's worth looking for this on resale, especially because then it would be more affordable as well. Okay, and then we also have this dress, which is, I would say a high, high contender for a summer engagement party for me personally. I actually think any wedding occasion, like this would be sensational. I am obsessed with this dress. Some of you will have seen this dress already. I have shown it in a previous video, but I think it needs to be revisited because I know there will be new people here who are brides and will not have seen the previous video. So I really wanted to revisit this. And also I just think it's gonna be an amazing option for me for my engagement party in the summer. So I wanted to throw that out there. It's not a white. It's like a, they call it a vintage cream and it's got this, it's like a cream, but it's got a pink tone to it, which I just think is so beautiful. Very flattering on me in terms of color and the fit. Like it has this kind of V cut over the hips and it pops out at the hips. And normally I don't like things that do that, but it really, it, it works. It's beautiful. I'm a big fan. It's also boned at the sides and I think it, yeah, it has a little bit of underwire along the torso adjustable straps and yeah it's just it's just beautiful for reference i'm five foot two and even though this is long it's just it's still stunning and i haven't had to have it altered but then we also have this dress which i think could just be really fun for like a summer party and it's like bridal but it's not too bridal it's just beautiful it's got these lace sleeves and then lace all down the body and it goes into like this flippy kind of A-line shaped skater skirt and the nude with the lace over is really beautiful. So this is also a contender. You can wear the sleeves like off shoulder as well if, you, if it's hot and you don't want too much on your shoulders. Yeah, I think this one's gorgeous. So let me know what you think of that as well. Do you guys ever have it where the outfit is so bad that you just refuse to even try it with shoes on because <laughs> this is a waste of my body's energy. I'm not doing it. This one is a no from me. I think it's the material. I don't even think it's the fit, even though it could be a little bit more fitted. I think it's quite like loose around here. I think when it has like the under boob bunching, it does need to be like well fitted around your waist, which you could just, you know, pin it, make some adjustments. But do you know what? The material of this dress is not worth it. It is not worth it. No amount of steaming could help this it also is so sheer so you can just see this 
panel running down the middle. This is a no from me, but it's fine because I feel like there are some actual winners in this video, so on to the next. This is the most incredible dress, like the quality of it is insane, especially for a high street dress. However, it's really not doing anything for my figure. I think for me it needs to be like pinned at the back or fitted at the bottom or both, but I think pinned here would have been stunning. I also think they missed a trick and this could have been a mini and I think it would have flown out of stock because mini bridal dresses are such a thing at the moment. I really think this could have been executed slightly better. I mean I get the vibe. It's meant to be slinky. I think it's meant to be for like the minimalist girlies that want something really jazzy. I think if I had maybe a longer body this would be the vibe but I think for me, this takes away all of my best bits. And yeah, I don't feel fabulous. But the dress itself, unreal, stunning, sensational, the most incredible quality. I love, like, it has an inbuilt corset underneath to, like, keep this held up. So I feel so secure. Someone needs to buy this <laughs> that has a different body shape to me. Someone needs this. Okay, so this is the sparkly dress without the sleeve and with the sleeve. I personally think... It looks more complete with the sleeve, but I don't like it. Also, this has confirmed my belief that I am not made to wear like a super jazzy, blingy dress at any point in my bridal era. I just don't think it suits me. What do you guys think? I mean, I need to take this sleeve off, hang on. Okay, there we go. I think this would be really fun for a hen party. Like, so fun. I think the rose makes it really bridal. The shade of it is still like very bridal but I just don't know if this is right for me. However, if you're a sparkly girl, get this. It's so fun. I love the design. I love the rose in the center. I think it's so nice. The structure is really nice. I love the fact that it has these little straps which you tie around your neck and they like hold you up a little bit. And I think for some people, the sleeves would look amazing. For me, there's something about me that it takes that from being like cool to like just not, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. So I definitely prefer it without the sleeves. And I've just gone for a really simple pair of shoes as well because I just felt like another, like sparkle and sparkle felt too much on me. But yeah, this just isn't, this isn't for me, but I love it. And I think I would love to see it on someone else. So if you get this, please send me a pic. I love this dress. This is so nice. One of you needs to get married in this. It is beautiful. I love the material. I love the design. It's so well fitted. Like it has so much shape to it. There's no boning. There's no structure. It just falls beautifully. It is so rare that I find a dress that just has minimal stitching, minimal bone, like no boning, no corseting and just falls beautifully. I love it so much. It also, by the way, oh yeah, I've popped a little blue shoe on underneath, but it also has like a situ at the back. So it's got, it's longer at the back and you can pin it up. I am on my own, so I haven't figured out how to get it unpinned. It comes pinned up, but I just think that's such a lovely touch. So I would definitely look into this if you're doing a registry that kind of thing and you just want something really really gorgeous and really simple this is so lovely but equally if you're doing like an engagement party or something like that and you want something that is a bit more bridal than party this is so beautiful i just love love everything about it the lace is stunning i think it would be really gorgeous with like hair pinned back and then a really lovely low bun or ponytail it's got the most gorgeous back as well i don't know if you can <laughs> If you can see, it's like a V back and the lace runs all the way. Oh, it's just so nice. And it's like the perfect cut on the chest as well. It's like not too low cut at all. I just think it's beautiful. Such an amazing high street find. Oh, gorgeous. I really like this dress. I knew I would. It's so sweet. It's actually an amazing length on me. It, it can sit longer, but I've actually pinned it up. I didn't love the bandeau running across and this falling here. I preferred it literally like as an asymmetric style top and then we've got the bow that's on the sleeve i actually would have preferred if they didn't have the cold shoulder going on that was a trend a long time ago i don't feel like we need to come back to that ever again but apart from that i love the overall look of it i've just paired it with my jimmy choo saders a shoe that i am now very scared to wear seeing as i broke my black jimmy choo saders apparently they can be fixed but i'm still scared yeah i think it's so sweet again i think this would look really nice with an updo maybe like a low pony or a sleek bun i think could look really nice this could be it for me you guys i really like obviously she needs a steam but i really love it i love the material as well like it feels 
so nice like the quality of it feels really good like a really nice elevated high street piece i just love the bow i think it's so sweet i love a bow but i just think it's such a gorgeous bridal classic so this could be my engagement party dress i think however we decide to go whether it's more casual not like super casual obviously but if it's more casual or more dressy this works for whatever we end up with i love how floaty it is as well and just i can i can eat in this you know also if you wanted to see what it looks like without being pinned this is it i do really like it like this i think it's super cute but i just i think if i go for this and i keep it i would wear this maybe like in the evening on my honeymoon because this is giving beachy vibes if you know what i mean so yeah let me know what you think of this one i do personally really love it and i think it's kind of nice that you could literally just put a safety pin here and have it more of a full dress but then you can wear it like this and switch it up now this is growing on me the more i look at it like this the more it is growing on me but my instinct was to to pin yeah let me know what you think do you prefer it with the bandeau i do think it's really cool it's like two two different dresses rolled into one some people are gonna hate this but i i don't know i just really like it so this is a contender for me Anyway, moving on. I'm actually not putting shoes on with this because there is so much material that I will trip over in like five seconds. There is so much material, I can't even tell if I really like it. Though I have to say I knew this could be the case when I was ordering a wrap style top. I find them incredibly hard to wear. I think because my body is wider here and here and then they, they don't cinch in enough at the middle so we're just ending up with like not a lot of shape and there's always too much material too low down. However, I think if you again we're longer in the body or just a taller in general maybe it would work it just isn't a style that works for me sadly like it is gorgeous though i love the long sleeves i love excuse me pinning the tag i love the back having this tie detail i think it's so beautiful just maybe not right on me i just don't think it's the most flattering and i just think especially because i'm coming at this from an engagement party dress angle i think the amount of material and the amount of altering this would need is just a bit too much however if you are looking for a lovely like actual bridal dress this is so beautiful it feels beautiful in terms of the material so yeah it is amazing just not quite right for what I need and I don't know if it's quite right for my body but also maybe we'd know if there wasn't so much material going on like I can't even walk around in this <laughs> <laughs> there's so much going on down here next dress every time i put this dress on i'm like no this is what i should wear for every bridal occasion why am i trying on other dresses i love it so much i've put the white bandeau from the other dress the asymmetric dress on underneath this and i actually feel like this is a game changer i think it actually works better than nipple covers if i'm honest like it doesn't look wrong if that makes sense if you didn't know that this wasn't part of the dress you wouldn't know so this might be it from me going forward i might never bother with nipple covers ever again it does make a difference on the back but it is 100 percent a better option than what i have been doing with it so yeah and then you still get the sheerness over the rest of the body which i think it kind of makes it a bit more flattering because it gives you because it, it makes it look wider at the top and then not on the bottom by the way sorry my camera i have to apologize for my camera ugh, my camera in this video because it is broken apparently it's picked today to break i don't know if it's because the weather is so like i'm basically filming in the dark in all fairness to the camera it's picked now right in this moment when i am filming to start being like a yo-yo with the lighting with the autocorrect but I need it because it is dark. So I am so sorry if some of the shots have been blown out. But anyway, yeah, so what do we think? Should I just wear this for every bridal occasion and call it a day? Let me know. This is the lace dress. This is just so fun. I, I need an excuse to wear this. So if you could all just pick this, that would be amazing. I just think it's really beautiful. I also love the fact that it's amazing for a nail selfie. If you are getting engaged, if you know you're getting engaged, get this dress because when you do your little hand selfie these sleeves are unreal let me show you hang on not me not having my engagement ring on in a in a video where i pick my engagement party dress but look stunning isn't it like imagine how good your engagement announcement photo will look with this dress did i wear this dress no anyway that's my campaign for this dress done yeah i need to i need somewhere to wear this can someone think of a bridal occasion i'm sure i'll find something it'll be like going to sign my prenup or going to register to get married or something like that i'll wear this somewhere so i think this is definitely more of a registry 
vibe that or it's the dress for going to sign your prenup i don't know which one <laughs> i think if you like something more simple and fitted and smart this is an amazing option to look into i just love it i love how long the sleeve is and the flare that it has to it i love that shape i love the high neckline the pockets which give a bit of extra something to the hip area i really like it i love the length as well i originally thought that i would get this taken up but i actually think the black version yes i'm going to take that up because i would wear it on a night out but this for the intended wear i actually think this length as it comes is really beautiful i've just paired it with my dior little bow shoes and i'd probably go for like a pair of vintage earrings with this and then like call it a day i think this might be the one every time i put this on i just love it it might actually be between this and the magda budrum and the asos asymmetric dress i think for me i would love to know your favorite of the three this is just i love how it fits like it fits so snug on the body the core sitting and everything is just perfect it's got underwire on the boobs and then the straps just like hold it up so well and then this kind of like pleating is this what, what do you call that is that pleating i don't know the bunched fabric across the hips is just stunning and it has pockets i would literally use them not at all but i love that it has them and it kind of makes like if you're awkward posing makes it feel less awkward i've just again paired this with my dior nudie pink heels <laughs> and yeah i just i'm obsessed with it it might need to be this because i actually don't know when else i will wear this i think honeymoon might be a bit hot to be honest i can make it work but it might be a bit hot so engagement party in the uk in the summer might be the only chance i get to wear this unless i wear it the night before my uk wedding potentially i need to i need to plan some things out you guys need to help me out i would love to know what you think but this is just this is a stunning little dress and shoe combo which i would highly recommend if you have the need i would recommend okay this is obviously not an option for the engagement party dresses but just in case anyone was wondering what the cute little beach cover-up looks like that i pulled out the bag this is it i really like it my advice would be if you're shaped like me cross the straps over like i really liked the idea of having it just tied around my neck and having the roses sit up here but it just wasn't really working for me it wasn't doing much like it didn't fit well here because i'd done that so i just crisscrossed the straps over instead um i've also just taped it down at the sides because of my body shape this is just a bit too loose like there's two lots of straps but then it's perfectly fitted on the bottom half so i can't go down a size so a long strip of body tape when i actually wear this will be my best friend but yeah other than that i love it i'm really happy with it can't wait to wear it this summer it's so cute it's like such a nice bridal option but like for the vacays for the honeymoons for the abroad destination weddings and not obviously for your wedding day but it's so nice i love it and it's actually very non-see-through which I'm a big fan of. So that is everything from my engagement party dress haul so far. Like I said, I'm still waiting on a couple of bits from House of CB, which I think could also be great contenders. So let me know if you would like to see those as well. If you want to see a part two, my engagement party will not be for a little while, like I said. So I have so much time to give you guys all of the options if there is any other bridal content that you would like as well please let me know in the comments that is it from me i hope you're having a lovely day and i will see you guys again very very soon bye